Happy birthday to former WWE diva Stacey Keebler and legendary R&B singer, songwriter, and actor Usher. X-Man 1991 back again with another anniversary rant, so let's get right into it. October 14th, 1997, LL Cool J released his seventh album, named after one of the hit singles, Phenomenon. After the success of his sixth album, Mr. Smith, the same basic principles are followed on this album with several R&B influenced tracks and a couple of more hardcore rap tracks. The album debuted at number 7 on the Billboard 200 and number 4 on the top R&B slash hip hop albums chart and was certified platinum. The album is exactly produced by Sean Puff Daddy Combs and therefore featured productions from his in-house roster of producers, The Hitman. The album had five singles, Father, Candy, Hot, 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 Phenomenon, and 4321. Guest appearances from New Edition members Ralph Transvent and Ricky Bell, Tamia, LaShawn, Keith Sweat, The Lost Boys, Busta Rhymes, DMX, Cannabis, and Method Man and Red Man. I do remember watching the premiere of the music video Phenomenon after an episode of In the House aired on UPN. And the song 4321, that shit was a monster jam. They had Darkman X, LL, Can I Bust, Meth to Cow, and Funk Doc. They also had Master P on the song 4321. Master P, he didn't deserve to be on that song. I'm sorry. I think Master P kind of fucked up the song. I remember how his lyrics were horrible. I don't like Master P like that. I don't know why LL would get him to be on this song. I mean, the song was doing fine when it was just him, Meth, Red, Cannabis, X, and... They didn't need Master P to be on that song. I remember how horrible his lyrics were in that song. But it's hard for me to listen to that song now since it's been a year since we lost DMX. I do remember Red and Meth performing that song at Versus and DMX, he performed that song at Versus too. And... This is one of my favorite um, LL albums of the 90s, next to Mr. Smith. This was pretty much his last album of the 90s. But I do want to thank LL for this classic album because it's my favorite LL album of the 90s next to Mr. Smith. So with that being said, that's going to wrap up my short rant celebrating 25 years of LL's seventh album, Phenomenon. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next anniversary rants. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment down below your thoughts on LL's Phenomenon album turning 25 years old. Let me see. Let's see, hold on.
looks like I found an attitude error ramp for tomorrow, and that is a tag team match between Stone Cold Steve Austin and Booker T versus The Undertaker and Kurt Angle from the October 15, 2001 edition of Monday Night Raw. That's for tomorrow. Don't follow your dreams, chase them. Peace. Happy 25th anniversary to LL, 7th album, Phenomenon.